Maximising burn rate and burn efficiency. With the Angus Super wood gasification log boiler, there are primary vents found on the inside cover of the fan plate and there are secondary vents found at the bottom below the fan. To enable the correct burn efficiency it is important to set the primary vents to the right spacings. On the inside of the fan plate you will find the primary vents. These should be set ideally at around 9 to 10 mm for seasoned wood between 15 to 20 percent humidity. Pyrolysis. Pyrolysis occurs when the wood breaks down and turns into charcoal and releases the wood gases. For effective pyrolysation there are two variables that occur with the Angus Super. The first is the primary vents. The second is the shroud on the fan cover itself. This will take in the air when the fan operates and ideally the fan should be 50% open as is set here. Finally, to aid pyrolysis, it is ideal to set the fan modulation at 60%. This can be done by turning on and holding the red button down and scrolling through the hysteresis setting, the pump operating setting, the temperature differential setting and then you will come to the fan modulation. You can see on this Angus Super 40 it is set at 60% for optimum pyrolysis. With the fan modulation you need to use a factor of 10. Here the 6 represents 60%, the highest setting is 10 which is 100%, the variance is between 3 and 10, hence 30 to 100%, but it is advised to go no lower than 50% on fan modulation. So in finalisation on pyrolysis, if you get the primary vent settings at 9 to 10 mm, the shroud at 50%, and the fan modulation speed at 60%, you will find that this will increase the efficiency of the boiler and also stop any bridging of the nozzle or any burning out of pockets of wood. To make sure that you get the optimum efficiency of the boiler and make the most of the wood that you put in the boiler, it is also important to get the correct settings on the secondary air vents. As you can see there are two, a left hand side and a right hand side and this blows air to the concrete nozzle. With the correct settings on the secondary air vents it is possible to get a bluey orange flame. This is indicative of the top efficiency of gasification. Also, with the correct pyrolysis settings through the fan modulation, the primary air vents and the shroud on the fan cover, the flame should fill the nozzle and it also should roll into the fire brick rather than torch where heat can be lost at the flue. To make sure you have the correct secondary air vent settings, Loosen the lock nut, tighten the screw all the way in so that the plate shuts off the secondary heat exchanger tubes, then back off three full turns on the left hand side and the right hand side. This will enable the correct airflow at the correct rate for the secondary heat exchanger tubes to enable maximum efficiency through the gasification process. Please remember when you have turned the screw back three full revolutions to tighten back up the locking nut to hold the screw in position.